This video is going to show you how you can use split view in Safari on your iPad. So when your iPad is in landscape mode, you can use split view in Safari to see two websites at the same time. To use split view, you need an iPad Pro, an iPad 5th generation or later, or an iPad Air 2 or an iPad Mini 4, and it has to be in landscape mode. So to open split view, Tap and hold the tabs button and tap open split view. It will open a new Safari window and the two windows take up 50% each of the page. You can't adjust them. So I can either tap and hold in that search bar and enter a website. I might put in a, a new site. Each window has its own separate controls. So the window on the right, which is the one I'm currently in, it has its own share button, its own bookmark tab, its own tabs bar, and it will have forward and back buttons. And if I tap a link, it's going to open in that window. To close split view, you tap and hold on the tabs bar. Notice that now that we're in split view, that that bar is down at the bottom instead of the top. So tap and hold, and I can merge all the tabs back into one. So let's look at all the different things you can do in split view. If I'm looking at a story and I want to open a link in split view, just tap and hold the link and then select open in split view. So rather than just open it in a new tab, it'll open up a separate window. And now I can look at the different windows, they're interchangeable. I can copy from one to the other, drag text, drag images. It just makes it easier to follow up something you're reading in a story. Merge it back to show you the next use. You can turn a tab into split view. So if I'm on this page and I want to open split view from this tab, just tap and hold on the tab and drag it to the right drag it to the left and drop it and that's going to open split view so it depends which side you want that new tab on and again tap and hold to merge all the tabs now if i want to open a link that i see on one window into the opposite safari view tap and hold a link and then open it on the other side. So instead of opening that link in the current tab in that in that window i can open that link to the other tab to help me with my research or reading or whatever I'm doing. I can switch a tab from one window to another. So this tab here, I want this tab to go onto the other side, so I'll just drag it and drop it onto the other window. And then within that window, you can drag and drop, swap around your different tabs. You can also add slide overview and then perhaps I've got some notes that I want to take here or I want to copy some text from one window and put it into the notes app or I want to take some photos and put them into the photos app. You can do that in slide overview. So I'm going to slide up from the dock and I want to put notes in. So tap and hold and drag it into the middle. I don't want to drag it over here because that's going to change that into split view between notes and safari so i just want a third app so i can drop it there and now notes will open and put a new node in i can move that window to the left or the right depending on what side of the safari windows i want to copy things into and if i leave it there and i want to put this picture into the notes app i can drag it in tap and hold that picture drag it in once you see the little green cross there you know it's going to work. Uh, perhaps there's a link that I want to put into the notes, so I can tap and hold the link and drag the link over. Or I want to copy some text. So there's some text on the other side, so I'm going to drag that to the other side and copy some text. And then in this same notes, I'm going to drag that text over. Drag it over and drop it into the note. I want those tabs back into one. I'm going to merge all the tabs back. I've still got this one open, but I can drag that into two, into split view, and then take it away that way. Split view in Safari is really useful because 
I spent a lot of time looking for information or reading information or following links. Having to do it in separate tabs all the time can become really unwieldy. So it's just another way of being productive with your iPad.